Many in Chicago saying enough is enough. Protesters taking to the streets demanding action. It's the latest clash in an ongoing war against violence in a city that's lost so many sons and daughters. Spike Lee's latest film, Chirac, takes a look at the violence that's plagued the city. Tonight, the toll it's taking and one mother who's fighting for change. Here's my Nightline co-anchor, Byron Pitts. This is my son, my baby. Pam Bosley knows Chicago's pain like few others, a doting wife and mother. That's Terrell, her oldest boy, raised in the church beside her. The last time they talked, that's where he was. He was at church. I was like, baby, be careful. And he was like, ma, come on now, you always worrying, you always worrying. I, I'm good, I'm good, I don't know why you tripping. Ain't nothing gonna happen to me. Then my next call was, my baby been shot. He was 18, a college freshman, never a day's trouble. Gunned down on his way into choir practice on Chicago's South Side. Terrell collapsed at the pastor's feet. I need you now. I need you. The suspected motive, a gang initiation. A wannabe hoodlum ordered to gun down a stranger. Terrell Bosley happened to be that stranger. Songs that once soothed Pam's soul now only add to her suffering. Okay, I can't watch no more. That's, that's my baby. So I, I really don't watch the videos because he's supposed to be still here singing. Pam's son, just one of the thousands who have died here in the past 10 years. Chicago has one of the nation's highest murder rates. And in the past month, back up, we want freedom. news of the deaths of two young African Americans, nine year old Tayshawn Lee, a target in a gang war. This is my only baby. And 17 year old Laquan McDonald, shot 16 times by a Chicago police officer, have reignited an old fuse, a bomb generations in the making. We as a city must and can do better. Today, protests erupted all over the city. Demonstrators stormed the mayor's office, demanding his resignation. Racist police! After the release of multiple videos showing police officers involved in violence. It wasn't the police who killed Pam Bosley's son. In fact, nearly a decade later, she still doesn't know who pulled the trigger. 70% of our cases is not solved in Chicago. Say what? 70% of our cases in Chicago is unsolved. The community that I live in is not valued. Pam Bosley is not a statistic. She's a commentary. We did the things right. She did what good parents are supposed to do, yet her boy still died. You hear people talk about all the time what parents don't do, that mm -hmm. their kids get in trouble because they didn't have this. You have a beautiful home, mm -hmm. loving husband, mm -hmm. believe in the importance of education, mm -hmm. discipline. Mm -hmm. As you said, did everything right. Yes. The perception of our black men is that they all in gangs and sell drugs. And that's a perception that we have to get away from. A lot of them are good kids that's being killed. So afraid of the danger outside their front door, Pam and her husband built this backyard patio. This is the safe haven spot that I put together for Terrell. It didn't protect Terrell. So now she keeps an even tighter grip on their two remaining sons. Lovely as your home is, it seems like it's a prison. Yeah, it is. It, my middle son told me one day, he was like, Mom, you got me living inside this box. Come on, can you let me out? So I, you know, I try to let him out a little bit, but it is a prison. Welcome to Chirac. It's the senseless violence in Chicago that inspired Spike Lee's newest satire, Chirac. The title, Chirac, where'd the word come from? Why'd you use it? It's local Chicago rappers made that up, not me. I used it for the same reason they, they thought it up. We started filming Chirac. June 1st, and we ended on July 9th. During that time, 331 people wounded and shot, 65 got murdered. Land of pain, misery, and strife. It's a film where the real meets the surreal. Two rival gang leaders engage in a bitter battle over control of the city's south side. Why do this movie? What do you want the audience to take away from it? Well, usually when I get asked that question, I say, uh, I don't, I can't, I don't want to dictate the audience or to tell them what to think by making an exception on this case of Chirac. We have to talk about guns. Guns affects every American citizen in this country. Because my gun go boom, I'll make sure a Trojan end up in the next In a departure from his lighter roles, Nick Cannon plays a ruthless gang leader. We force our men to negotiate peace. Chirac is based on the ancient Greek play, The Sistrata. A group of women wage a sex strike to persuade their men to drop their guns. Y'all know the power we have over them withholding just a day. Actress Tiana Paris stars in the film as leader of the strike. All you care about is this tired gangster game. 
Well, it's lame. What drew me to this film was, I, I remember getting the script from Spike, and the first thing he said to, to both, of, both us. of us is, we have to save lives, and that's what this is about. So- Time the, out, time out. Save lives? Yes. Yeah, that's a pretty high bar. It is. How, how does this movie save lives? When you look at these communities, it's drugs, women, and guns. Those are the pillars, mm. and in order to- break it down. Yeah, in order to break that system, you have to come in and knock one of those pillars down. And it's a powerful thing to see a powerful black woman. It only takes one person to start a movement. This is, this is my version of a superhero. It's outstanding. Saving lives, that's our job. The premise of Chirac may seem outlandish. The characters more like caricatures of black America. Some critics say Lee's choices trivialize the harsh reality. There are those who will see this movie and mm -hmm. say, with the serious issues going on in Chicago. How dare you do a movie with satire? Chirac is not the first film in the history of cinema that has used satire to deal with very serious subject matter. Jennifer Hudson, she's in the film. Her mother, brother, and nephew were murdered in Chicago. If this film is not righteous, she would not be part of it. When a murderer walks free, we are all in danger. John Cusack's character in the film is a loose portrayal of real-life Chicago priest, Father Michael Flager. At the end of the day, we stop the shooting. I'm the happiest man in the world. A well-known anti-violence activist, he's led the congregation at St. Sabina's in Chicago's South Side for the last 30 years. For those who, who, who would be offended by the title, Chirac. I say, you ought to be offended that this beautiful great city that I love has 2,350 shot, primarily black and brown. If those were primarily white kids, America would have dealt with it. When I have a sixth grader who says to me, when I ask her, what do you want to be when you grow up? And she says, alive. No child should have to wrestle with that kind of thinking at sixth grade. Father Flager counseled the Bosleys after the death of their son. I don't come by here at all. We were with Pam outside the yeah, church where her world right. was shattered um, when she got unexpected news yeah, about her son's so suspected I'm killer. So the pastor's wife was telling me that um, somebody came to the church and said the person shot two old, got shot and killed. Today they said this? They just told me. What does that do for your spirit to hear that? Um, even though that person got shot and killed, I wanted that person to go to jail. The cycle just continuing. Yeah, it is. Tonight or whatever night, the demonstrators go quiet. The politicians move on. The casualties of Chicago's war from within will keep dying inside just a little bit more. You gonna be okay? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna be okay when I die and go to heaven with my son, Terrell, and with God. For Nightline, I'm Byron Pitts on the south side of Chicago. Our thanks to Byron Pitts. Chirac is in theaters now.